Hello everybody, Andrea Majewski here with Dental L Mobile Hygiene. So I am a dental hygienist that goes to people's homes and nursing homes and offices to clean their teeth. And what I'm going to be talking to you guys about today are night guards. And believe it or not, this topic came from one of those groups on Facebook. I think it was like a mom's group, like a, a community group, um, where somebody was asking about um, night guards. They were saying that their child um, grinds their teeth at night. I believe their child was six or seven. And they were asking, well, what do I do? You know, what happens? And it's always amazing to see all of the comments because people with the best of intentions might feel like they know the answer, but they might be steering the person in the wrong direction. So I kind of get these, these topic ideas from things that I see on, on, um, on the groups and that I wish that other people knew about so then they can make an informed decision. So basically, I'm going to talk to you guys about night guards overall. Okay, so but first, I want to kind of answer that question that somebody had posed in a Facebook group. So she was asking, you know, what does she do? Her child is six or seven, I can't remember. And they were asking, my child grinds their teeth at night. How do I get them to stop? What do I do? Are they going to wear away their teeth? Like this can't be a, um, a good thing. Well, what I tell all of my patients are, yes, some children do grind their teeth, especially at night. But you can't give them a night guard because their mouth is still moving, it's still growing. You can't put something in the mouth that is still trying to grow because then it can almost limit that growth over time. We would never put a night guard in a child's mouth. Night guards are for usually people 18 years or older. Now, typically children who do grind their teeth at night, they will stop at some point. So yes, it sounds horrible. You might be concerned, but we really can't do anything about it. It's more of a normal thing. Think about it when your child is going through um, growing pains. You can't really do anything about it, right? You just have to let it run its course. Well, grinding is similar to that. You can't do anything about it in a child but you should still have them looked at by either your dentist or your dental hygienist to see if they are starting to wear away their tooth or um, teeth. Typically in children I see, um, there might be a little bit of wear, but nothing to be concerned about. But if I notice that the teeth are starting to wear away quite quickly, then, then we might even wanna put those temporary crowns over the teeth to you know help to prevent that from happening or put a composite over top of it so they're grinding on that composite so even if they wear it wear it away they're not wearing away more of their teeth if that makes sense um but i can help you guys kind of explain that more if you weren't too sure if you have any questions about that just let me know so the short answer is when somebody tells me that their child is doing that at night and it sounds horrible I tell them they shouldn't be doing it for much longer. It's just some children do and some children don't. You can't do too much about it, but let me have a look at their teeth to make sure they're not, you know, um, grinding them down to too much. Now for adults, that's different. You might be 18, you might be 20, you might be 25, and you might be waking up in the morning and saying, ow, like my jaw really, really hurts. Like what is happening? If, you, if that's happening to you, then you're likely um, grinding your teeth at night and you need a night guard. Even if you go to your dentist or your dental hygienist and they say to you, oh wow, your enamel is starting to wear away like on the top parts of the teeth, like kind of like the top parts here. Um, hmm, I think you're grinding at night because that's a clear sign of that. It doesn't matter if you're 20, 30, 40, 50, it could happen to anybody. Often we see it in college students because they have to go through so much. You know, they have, um, they have exams, they have so much to think about that they might even start um, to clench their teeth at night, even if they haven't before. Even if you're 55, you might start now, whereas you haven't before. But you do need a night guard if that's the case, because if you don't have one, all of all of those pounds of pressure, all of that pressure is not a good thing. Think about it this way. When we chew our food, that's typically 20 to 40 pounds of pressure, you know, 
But if you're clenching at night, that can be 250 pounds over and over and over again of doing this. <laughs> 250 pounds. No, I'm not kidding. So a night guard, that is something that you do need because what a night guard actually does, so it fits over the teeth like this. So that's why I do have the picture here. So this is what your typical night guard looks like. It could be a little bit thinner. It could be a little bit thicker. It depends on the patient. It goes over the top teeth, either the top teeth or the bottom teeth, depending on the anatomy of your mouth, usually the top teeth because your, your top you know, part of your mouth does not, um, um, it does not move. The bottom part obviously does because that's the part that you use to chew, talk, eat, everything, right? So it makes more sense to put it on the top because that top part, you know, stays the same, right? All the time. So what happens is it fits over the teeth like this, and that is something that you wear at nighttime. And notice how there's a little space under the teeth here, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that helps to stop from the top teeth and the bottom teeth from um, grinding side to side. And that's what causes your teeth to wear away over time. But if there's something in its place, you're grinding on the night guard. So the effects are not the same. So in some cases, it doesn't stop you from grinding, but it will help you from wearing away the the enamel over time, which is so important. If you have insurance, this is typically covered. A night guard, depending on where you live, is about $500. But if you have insurance, they usually cover one every five years. So not every single time, but every five years. Because night guards don't last forever. It depends on the patient. Um, I've had patients that need a new night guard every three months because they clench so much. They literally eat through it. So imagine if you don't have the night guard. Your, your enamel would be in bad shape, right? Because again, that's 250 pounds. Um, or I have patients that get a new, a new night guard every four to five years just because it's starting to look pretty old, right? So, um, but everybody's different, but you do need a night guard. Plus, a night guard can help to keep things aligned properly. So when you wake up, your jaw will not be sore because it just helps to keep your jaw back a little bit. It's kind of hard to show you guys without actually having one in my mouth, but it does help to keep the jaw back ever so slightly so it doesn't tense up as much. So if your dentist or the dental hygienist tells you that you need a night guard, you do need a night guard, trust me. If you don't have one, so what happens if you don't get a night guard is your muscles over time, they will become more tense and more sore. You don't just, as an adult, you don't just stop grinding you will keep doing it unless you have a night guard to help to stop that from happening. The enamel will wear away. And once you wear away enamel, you cannot bring that enamel back. So trust me, you need a night guard. Um, and often people ask me, well, if I just don't have a night guard or if I don't wear it every night, what can happen? Well, re uh, remember how I said that it's 250 pounds of pressure that can crack the teeth. So any teeth can crack at any time. And once you have a crack, as you can imagine, that's not a good thing. The tooth could crack down the middle. If that happens, we might not be able to save the tooth because there's nothing to hold on. So that's a very extreme example, obviously, but you never want a tooth to crack. That's a lot more expensive to fix than a night guard. There are night guards you can get over the counter about $20, $30. They work, but a very limited period of time, like I'm talking overnight. It's not something you want to wear consistently because it's not um, um, molded to your mouth. So that's another thing. Like this night guard here, um, in order to make a night guard, you would have to go to the dentist who would take molds of your teeth, um, top and bottom, and then that gets sent to the lab. And then the lab makes the night guard. It takes about a week or two weeks. Um, for either the top teeth or the bottom teeth. So you do not have to wear two. You would only wear the one um, overnight every single night. Um, and again, the lab takes about two weeks. So for you to go in to get the night guard made to take the impressions of the teeth, that takes about 10 to 20 minutes, that's it. They would send you home. They would bring you back in about two weeks when the night guard is back from the lab. 
They would make sure that it fits properly. They would tell you how to use it. Typically, in a night guard, you would put it in a bowl of warm water for about 10 to 20 seconds to help to loosen it up, and then you would put it in your mouth after that. So you would do your whole oral hygiene um, nightly routine first, and then put the night guard in after that, and then that's it. And then once you wake up in the morning, um, you should at least rinse it with water and then put it back in the container. Um, leave the lid open because if it's not dry, you don't want all of that in there, right? So leave the lid open. Um, you could even use um, toothpaste on it, you know, too, to make sure it's as nice as possible. Because if you're thinking um, thinking um, about it, that's been in the mouth, right, the whole time. So toothpaste is actually a good idea. Um, and that's it. So did I answer all of your questions, you guys? So this is what it looks like. If you're an adult and you grind, it's time to get that looked at. You need a night guard. If you're a child, you don't need one because we wouldn't give you one anyway um, because you shouldn't be grinding for much longer. So children don't grind forever. It's just some do and some don't. So I hope that helped. If you guys have any questions, please let me know because um, I might have forgotten to answer some commonly asked questions. So if you guys need anything, let me know and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching.